Just to give some background on this video, this will cover the original run that came out in the 90s on Cartoon Network and Toonami, which started with the Ocean dub and then was taken over by Funimation. For the sake of arguments, I am pretending that this is the only version of Dragon Ball Z that exists and will be judging it as such. Hopefully anyone that watches this video that didn't grow up with this version will learn some things and maybe understand why so many hold it in such high regard despite its issues. So once again we start out with filler, but this is the kind of filler I'm okay with. It's a nice break coming off of the last big bad villain, and we get to see Goku in a preview of what his life will be like in the afterlife, even though it's only for 5 or so episodes. So many of you probably know this already, but the reason Goku's hair is black is because he was originally supposed to turn into a Super Saiyan to fight Cell and Frieza, but Toei decided it would be better if Goku kept it a secret from PyCon in anticipation of their fight in the tournament. The animation was already done, so instead of going back and redoing and redrawing Goku with his normal black hair, they just decided to recolor his hair and his eyebrows. It's kind of cool because it's an accident. On the other side of the coin, I'm not sure why Goku felt the need to transform into a Super Saiyan, especially for the Ginyu Force. The only person he would need to transform into a Super Saiyan for here is Cell, but Cell doesn't attack him until after. So I don't know why he felt the need to transform into a Super Saiyan for the Ginyu Force. He could have literally taken them out in base form. So I got to give them a mistake here because this is an anime exclusive filler. This wasn't part of the manga, so Toei added this on their own and they made a mistake. It's hard to tell, but King Kai's halo disappears when he turns around. Two references in this episode. The first being Spider-Man and the second being Michael Jordan. I'm going to give them two points here for the cultural awareness. Come on, Videl. You know he can't be the gold fighter. Who in the world's ever heard of a little book nerd secretly being a superhero? I just got some new shoes. Yeah, with the air cushions, you know? They sure make a difference, huh? <laughs> right. It's gotta be the shoes. I just wanted to point out that the manga version of this scene, it ends with Gohan saying he'll reveal his name in the next chapter, and then at the beginning of the next chapter, he actually does it. I thought it was pretty funny breaking the fourth wall. See you later, Videl! Uh, how does he know my name? Okay, so two things. First off, she's the daughter of Mr. Satan. Second, you're the first ever winner of the junior division in the world tournament everybody would know who your name is. Videl is missing her gloves. This shot actually happens twice, so I'm gonna give them two mistakes. Hey, you're the golden fighter as well, aren't you? That guy has blonde hair! You're right about that. He's more handsome than you are too. Videl never actually saw the golden fighter, so she couldn't know who was cuter or not. This is nitpicky, but these videos don't make themselves. Videl's gloves turn red when they're supposed to be black. Bulma's lipstick is missing during this scene when she's flying towards Papaya Island. When Vegeta places his left hand on Goku's shoulder, his glove is missing. Trunks is going to pulverize this noisy fool! World champion! I've known stronger houseplants! I like the possible reference to the Cybermen here. The board is empty on this wide angle, but when it zooms in, Kabito's name is there. Cool. 15. Videl says her number is 15, but that number is drawn by Yamu at the end of the episode. Also, she ends up fighting Spopovich, who drew number 6. I hate to be the one to break it to you, Bulma, but my Goku has never lost a fight. Hmm, never lost a fight, huh? Well, let's think back. You got Raditz, Vegeta, the first time, Captain Ginyu, Android 19, and Cell. That's not even bringing up Dragon Ball, because off the top of my head, we got Master Roshi at the World Tournament, Tien at the World Tournament, Mercenary Tao the first time, Tambourine the first time, and then King Piccolo the first time. I was watching this episode and I actually forgot where this meme came from, so when I saw it, it actually gave me a good little chuckle. It's strange, but the last time he fought in this tournament, I'm positive he couldn't fly or throw an energy attack. 
None of them competed at the last World Martial Arts Tournament where Spopovich fought Mr. Satan. So none of them would have seen him fight. So how did Goku know who he is? Gohan! Hey, let me go! I gotta say, man, Krillin may not be the strongest, but he is a real one. And he always has his friends back. You see that a lot in this saga, and I like that. There were five Grand Kais at that time, each one a thousand times more powerful than the one you called Frieza. This is a mistake. He was meant to say Supreme Kais, not Grand Kais. 